Hi, welcome to the Daddy Curbs farm. This is a farm. This is a real farm, real animals, real out in the country environment. And with that comes flies. Mama Curbs hates flies. She's armed with this fly swatter almost all the time. Every day of the summer, she's got her fly swatter and she's on a mission. We've tried a number of different fly traps and most of them either don't work or they don't work well or they smell real bad and you can't be around them at all. For whatever reason, most of the fly traps that we've tried have not worked. Now let me say right up front, I am gonna show you a fly trap that's working for us. And I get nothing out of sharing this with you, except maybe there'll be an Amazon link below. I have no affiliation with this product. With horses, chickens, and ducks, and a goat all on the farm. There's gonna be manure. That means there's gonna be flies. We've tried different fly traps in the barn with mild success. We tried the the milk jug trap, some sticky traps, and of course the treatment or poison that you put on the horse. We do use that sometimes, but we prefer not to go overboard with the poisons. It seems like, however, that the flies don't really gather in the barn. They really love to gather around our blue door. This blue door leads into our laundry room, which is directly connected to the kitchen. We don't like flies in the kitchen. Once they get in there and they start touching food, then it's a mess, and we don't really want to eat food that flies have landed on. So one day when I was at Tractor Supply, a local supply store for farm and ranch type stuff, they had on sale this particular fly trap. It's the Starbar Captivator fly trap. Comes with the plastic jug, the top, and one bag of attractant. That one clearance item that I purchased just to see if it would work, worked. It worked so well, I had to go buy some more. Look at all those flies. And it doesn't even smell that bad. You have to be right up close to this thing to be offended by the smell. Right here it kind of stinks. But if you step back two or three feet, not that big a deal, especially when it's out here in the open. I don't think I'd want it in my kitchen. Mama Curbs was fed up. So I ran down to the store and I bought three more of these. I just put this one together and hung it in this tree. Now we're gonna hang two more. I'm gonna show you how to put it together and how I'm hanging them. The original trap is hung on a latch hook that was put in this tree a long time ago for a birdhouse or something like that. With that in mind, I went into the shed. I found two latch hooks and one regular just screw-in hook. We're gonna make that work. With the screw in a pair of pliers, I'm just gonna put that in the tree. The instructions are pretty easy. Take the cap off, remove the plastic bag, open the outside bag to discover one inside bag that is water soluble. Fill it halfway up with water. This is a half gallon size so we're going to use one quart of water. Put the cap on and we're ready to hang. Notice that bag dissolves pretty quickly and it does begin to smell pretty quickly too. We're gonna aim for putting these around the blue door in this area under these trees. We have one under that tree, the original one. This one now under this tree, the one I just hung. Now we're gonna put one under this tree.
Hopefully now with a few of these in place, we'll have a lot fewer flies in the house and that will make Mama Curbs a happier person. She might even have to take up a new hobby. Hey, if you have any other tricks for catching or killing flies, I would love to hear those in the comments below. This is just one that's been working for me. I'm glad to have found it, but I wouldn't mind finding something else. Let's build community and chat about this conversation. And if you would like to learn more about Daddy Curbs Farm, go ahead and subscribe. Ring that bell so that you don't miss a single video. Here on the Daddy Curbs Farm, I firmly, truly believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe that your story counts because you count. Thanks for being here with me. I'll talk to you soon.